Hello guys, welcome back to another Kotlin programming tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to implement inheritance in Kotlin. A class can share behaviors and properties from another class that is called inheritance. The class from which a class inherits is called the parent class or base class and the class that inherits from another class is called a child class or derived class. A parent class can have any number of child classes, but a child class can have only one parent class. I will explain the concept with an example. So here I create a class called uh, animal. And this class needs one constructor, one variable, a name that is of string type. Now, in this class, I am going to create a function called uh, eat. Variable name can eat. Now, create another function sleep. Variable name can sleep. Okay, so now I'm going to create another class called the uh, fish, and this need one constructor with one parameter that is of string type. Here I'm going to create a separate function. Fish can swim. So the function name is swim. Fish can swim. Now I'm going to create another class called uh, bird. Here also we need one primary constructor with one parameter that is of string type here we need one function called uh, fly but can fly okay so in this program we have three classes first class is animal that contain two functions eat and sleep here we have another class called the fish that contain their own function called the swim. Here is the third class called the bed that also have its own function called the fly. And here you can see now uh, both bed and fish can share these two properties. Bed, bed and fish can eat and sleep. So these two properties are shareable. That means here we can implement inheritance. So, we have to make the animal class into parent or base class and we have to make the fish and bird class can class are child classes or derived classes. In Kotlin, by default, all the classes are final. That means we cannot inherit any classes in Kotlin. So, first thing, we have to convert the animal classes into shareable. For that, you have to use a keyword called open. So now I'm going to make the class inheritable. So here I use the keyword open. Now it is possible to inherit from the class called animal. Now for the fish class I'm going to inherit from the animal class. So for implement inheritance you have to use the symbol. Now specify the class name animal. Now here you need to pass the needed parameter for the primary constructor of the parent class. Here we need only one parameter that is the name. Here also bird also going to inherit from the animal class. Animal here also pass the name. Okay. So now I am going to call the functions from the main method. First we can call properties of the bird class
so first create variables for bar now call the functions first call the fly function now here we can see the fly function is available within the bed class itself that means the fly is the bird class its own property but now you can see now the uh, bird object can have another two properties called the sleep the sleep property is inherited from the class called the animal now bird can have another property called the eat that is also inherited from the parent class called the animal okay now we can create variables for the uh, fish class here it is fish now call the functions fish dot swim swim is the its own class function of fish class uh, now call the inherited methods eat now call another method called uh, sleep okay now we can run the program and here is the program output so this is how we implement inheritance in kotlin programming language i hope you understand the concept thank you for watching